Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com, where my goal is to provide you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, we're going to discuss file structure, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website. It's the beginning of a new year, so it's time to create the file structure that I will be using to organize or store my photographs on my hard drive. I'm using Finder on the Mac, but this could also be accomplished using Windows Explorer on the PC. I store my photographs on an external hard drive that I have named my iMac Photography Volume. I'm gonna head there now and create a new folder using the keyboard shortcut Command-Shift-N. I'm gonna name this 2016 Images. Let's open that folder. I'm going to create two folders inside of 2016 Images. One is for clients and the other is for personal. I'm gonna drill down into the clients folder and create a folder for every month of the year starting with January. The reason I use 01, 02, 03, et cetera to designate the months is so that they can be listed in alphanumeric order. So all I need to do is create a folder for every month of the year. Once I begin photographing clients for the year, what I'll do is drill down into each month and create a subfolder with the client last name. It doesn't matter to me if this were a wedding, a family session, etc. I just organize it by client last name under the month in which they were photographed. Now I'm gonna head back for a second and I wanna duplicate this structure in my personal folder. The only difference is I'm not going to have subfolders. I'm just going to place everything that I shoot for any given month inside of the appropriate appropriate folder. So in order to do that quickly, I'm just going to press Command A on my keyboard to select all, Command C to copy. I'm going to head back to 2016 Personal and do a Command V in order to paste. Now I had created that subfolder Jones in January. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that out because I'm not going to need it in my personal folders. I don't use the operating system to sort and organize my photos beyond this structure. I do all of my keywording so that I can find my photos later inside of Lightroom. Therefore, anything I shoot personally in January will go into this folder for January. It doesn't matter to me if it was a birthday, if there's a holiday, if we were on vacation, they're all going to go in that folder and I'm going to organize them further inside of Lightroom. I'm not suggesting that this structure will work for everyone. It's just how I like to organize my photos and I've been doing so for over a decade. And because of that consistency, I have found that I am extremely efficient in managing my files. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.